Hi, everyone. I hope you're well. So today I want us to check out this really cool application. It's called Docalysis. So it's a really cool AI tool. And it's a ba it's basically an AI-powered chatbot that will save you a ton of time by answering questions um, that you may have about your document. So you simply upload your document. And don't worry, um, it's safely stored. There's no way that your data or your client's data will be leaked out. And so what you can do is you can load your documents onto um, the platform and you can ask it any questions and within um, a few seconds, it can give you an answer. So I'm gonna show you a demo in a few seconds, but broadly it's a chat bot that works in the same way that um, chat GPT or Google bot, Google bot does. You can get answers about your documents in seconds without reading the full document. And if you um, upgrade to the complete plan, you can upload documents of up to 1,500 um, pages. So um, let's look at three important use cases. I want to show you three important use cases to make your life simpler. And so we're going to look at um, brief writing, contract review or statutory review and uh, meetings and consultations. Of course, there are other uses, but today we want to keep it short and I want to show you some really cool things. So this is what the application looks like when you open it. It's really neat, looks nice. And so this is where you would answer your questions and you'd get your responses from. This is where your document would be loaded. And um, you can obviously do things like highlight, um, type, add text to document and, th and cool things like that. And then you can save your documents as well. So let's start off with uh, brief writing. So uh, if you're not sure what brief writing is, basically it's like drafting a memo, right? So usually um, uh, a partner or an attorney will ask you to draft a memo on a, a area of law that they're unaware of. And so you as a junior lawyer or you as a lawyer for the partner would have to draft a memo. And it's basically a summary of what, what has to be done, right? Because lawyers don't know anything don't know, don't know everything, believe it or not. So um, I'm going to show you a memo. So this is like basically what a memo would look like. It would have um, the heading of the memo and then a bit of detail about um, what the case is about. And so let's say, let's just try um, adding a file here. So let's just say you have a client, they want to know how to apply for shop license, right? Say you haven't read the Shop Licenses Act and you just want a brief understanding of what the Shop Licenses Act is about or how a client can apply for Shop Licenses Act. And then you're going to need to write a memo. So it's basically a summary of your findings and your legal analysis. And then you send it off to your partner. So you'll load your document. My internet is a bit slow. Bear with me. So you'll load your document here. And then here, um, Docalysis will uh, basically tell you what what do you want to know about this document? And then here's where you type your question. So say your question is how to apply for a shop license. Right. And there you go. So it will read through the whole document. It's already read through um, 28 pages and it'll give you a, a summary of what you need to um, do in order to apply for a shop license. So um, this is the, probably your first legislation. And then what you do is you'd uh, copy and paste your steps that you found. There we go. You need to make an application to the license authority in the prescribed form, specifying the trade class type and what, 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 uh, what, what, what. And then, so that's basically what you would do. And so this is basically what you'd find in the, um, in the act, right? And then you'd obviously say pages eight to nine, and then you'd specify um, the Shop Licenses Act or where you got the information. And then you'd load the next piece of legislation. So if it's a regulation, you'd add the regulation, ask the similar questions, and then add it to your memo. And so then after you've done that, then you can uh, make it look pretty by editing it and... Um, reading through it. And then obviously, um, if you're gonna submit uh, documents to court, you're gonna have to highlight. So it does this wonderful thing of telling you where it found the information. So page nine to 12, and then you can um, you can highlight um, the areas where it found the information. Cause I know that you'd have to um, submit documents to court with highlighting in them, right? So that's essentially what uh, you can use it for in brief writing. And then you can also use it for um, making course outlines if you're a law student. So if you're a law student and um, I'm pretty sure you're aware of like uh, course outlines. 
So uh, summarizing cases. So basically what you can do is you can upload a file um, like this case here and then get a summary of it and then add it to your course outline. You can add legislation like the Shop Licenses Act we've just found. You can um, ask questions and add summaries of the Shop Licenses Act and you can add it here. So let's try um, summarize this document. Summarize this document. So let's summarize this document, pages one to twenty, um, one to twenty-three. That was pretty quick. Um, and then so obviously you can copy and paste. Um, so that's cases, legislation, uh, provisions of the constitution, uh, civil codes, and things like that. So we can look at civil codes right now. Um, so that's the next thing. Uh, review. So um, the civil code, it's pretty big. The California one is like uh, almost 2,500. But for um, most cases, um, as you'll see, you'll probably only need sections of it. So um, you can download uh, sections of the California code without uploading the entire thing. So we're not going to go through the entire thing. The document is pretty long. But what we can do is you can upload a section of it, and then you can um, you can review a section of it. So let's say let's go for title one. Okay, so it says I'm done analyzing your document. What do you want to know about uh about the document. So I've just uploaded a uh, title one of um, the California Civil Code. So basically you can uh, analyze contracts, uh, statutes, even uh, long texts. If you need to analyze uh, texts which are written by um, your partner or textbooks, um, you'd have to up upgrade to the, um, the highest plan, which is uh, 1,500 pages. Um, so it's there's also a flexible payment plan. So you can pick the the smaller plans as opposed to the bigger plans if you're not committed yet. But I really think you should um, give it a chance and give it a try. So this is an example of um, the first section of the civil code. And so you can ask questions without reading the entire 27 pages, um, ask it things about terminology. You can ask it about um, pretty much anything, timing, holidays, anything you want to know, like dates, how dates are calculated and things like that, services, question on services and filing and things like that. So that's also pretty cool. And um, what I do want to show you um, as well is uh, how you can use it for meetings or how you can use it for emails. So uh, for meetings, what we do um, every Monday morning is a summary of every case. So every case we're working on, you summarize it and you give the client an update. So this is an example of a case. It's advanced environmental group. So we're going to upload um, the bankruptcy motion for advanced environmental group. And so usually when uh, when you're going through um, a document and another attorney has worked on it and not you, you're not aware of what the document's about, but you need to give the client an update, right? So let's just try summarize this document. Uh, there we go. So this motion was filed by the Chapter 7 Trustee of Advanced Environmental Group, LLC, the United States um, Bankruptcy Court. And then it tells you um, about a bunch of information about um, the case. And so this is basically what you do. You'd copy and then you'd paste it into the Google Docs, right? So um, just to get a brief summary of what the motion is about. And then when you need specific information, like we usually want to know the assets to be sold. So you could... Um, ask simply what assets are being sold. So 
what assets are being sold. There we go. So uh, the assets to be sold are uh, X, Y, and Z. Um, and I'll tell you where it got the information because then you'd also want to just highlight. Um, and so that's the information you'd copy and paste here. Certain information that we also want are dates, um, like the auction date or bid deadline, purchase price. You can simply ask. Uh, you don't have to read the whole document. So say we want to know... Um, what is the proposed purchase price? So the proposed purchase price is 7,500, right? Um, that's a figure we'd want to know. And then we'd also want to know a um, bunch of other things. Uh, da, 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 da. What else would we want to know? Um, oh, auction date. If there's an auction date, when is the auction? When is the auction? if there is an auction, sometimes there isn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as you can see. So the document does not provide a specific date for the auction. However, it states that all parties who have submitted timely bids and otherwise satisfied the requirements will be able to participate in an auction to be conducted at the hearing on the motion, right? So when is the hearing? When is the motion hearing? Right. The motion hearing is scheduled for uh, May 24. And so then that's information you would, uh, again, May 24, you'd copy and paste um, the information you've just received. So you can use that for um, for meetings. You can use it for due diligence. If you have a lot of documents that you need to go through for mergers and acquisitions in, due, in terms of due diligence, you can use it for preparing for consultations with clients. You can use it also for uh, emails and meetings. So I hope that helps, guys. Um, please let me know what you think um, and your feedback is valuable. Thanks, guys.